Digital Entertainment On Demand Super GP Champions Trophy made its way to Red Star Raceway for round number four. At the front end, Tinsella was looking to take what had happened in terms of Super Pole and capitalize it into a race win. But the whole shot wasn't his. Not even second place into the Red Star chicane was his. That was all about Brent Harron. The man who got the whole shot was on another Yamaha. The Amtec Racing Nashua Yamaha of Matthew Scott, the Amstranger Rocket. Problems in the background for the BMW riders. Lance Isaacs, uncharacteristically, could not find a setup that was conducive to the track conditions here at Red Star Raceway. Super M Dice in the back of the Super GP Super M combined field. Johan Otto on the Red Mist Racing KTM was going at it with Mr. Red Star Raceway himself, Jacques van Weinhardt. He was absolutely honored to be racing with South Africa's best riders. In the NGL Logistics Complex, look how close it was getting at the front. The two Yamaha riders, bar to bar, elbow to elbow, and that chopped and changed every single time they climbed on the brakes. Matthew Skoltz had certainly got to grips with this brand new machine and started to open up a small margin on Tlinsella. Made a few mistakes, but I think they were all about letting Seller go through and just seeing where there were possible chinks in his armor. He pushed hard, Seller was pushing even harder and pushed eventually too hard. He got to a point where that bike was going at its limit. And how much more could it take? Further back in the field, Brandon Good started to make his way through and catch Brent Harron as Lance Isaacs did the unthinkable. Crashing out all by himself, no one to blame other than a mistake coming out of the Black Swan BMW rider. A slightly injured ankle and a little while to get up as he found himself winded on the sideline and out of race number one. And speaking of unthinkable things, no one ever thought Clancella would crash out in the battle he was having with Matthew Skoltz. But he pushed a little bit too hard and gave himself lots of work to do. He managed to pick the bike up again and as you can see in the background started to close in on the battle that was for podium honours. The Kawasaki was out there with Brent Harron on board. Brandon Good was looking even better than before and that Yamaha of his was slowly but surely becoming a weapon in his hands. But the man closing in on all of them was Clancella. Pushing a little bit hard at times but he had to. He had to try and get back and salvage points. And in order to do that he had to be on the podium. Issues with the tyres cold track conditions were what was expected the whole day and eventually seller sneaking through down into discover digital coming out of that corner he opened up a slight margin not as big as the margin that was opened up at the front end by this man the Schlange rocket was untouchable on his nashua and mtech racing yamaha seller eventually coming through for second place and third place incredibly going to brandon good Yamaha's one, two, and three. A great ride from Seller Let's to recover onto the, the podium. As they come on good down. to We're see start with a one and three. Race two and down into turn one. A great start from Brandon Good, the superhero of the day. Outgunning both of the Yamahas that had been better than him in race number one. Could he maintain and find uh, an opportunity to possibly get race to his victory? His teammate wasn't going to make it easy for him. You know, Schlanger Rocket sneaking up the inside and getting past Goody. Brandon Good going side by side and all the cameras were looking for that opportunity because the day before they'd seen the two Neolife Yamahas side by side. Problems again for Isaacs. He was just having an absolutely dismal weekend. It wasn't going the way of Sir Lancelot. Jacques van Weinkart maintained his lead and a possible double podium for Super M's. Johan Otto was uh, the man he was fighting with in the Super M category. The fight really wasn't a fight at all at the front end. Matthew Skoltz kept looking back and offering opportunities for Seller to lead for a while. He then come back and just show that he had what it takes to uh, fight for this championship. That number one plate was getting very heavy on the front end of Kinsella's bike. He was up for the challenge though, as was Brent Harron, who had found something special in between the two races to try and get that Kawasaki of his sorted out. And Brandon Good, pushing ever so slightly hard, in fact, maybe a little bit too hard, was starting to make some mistakes. As the sun was setting on a fantastic day's racing at Red Star Raceway, it was probably one of the best days racing that this young man had ever had. The MTech Racing and Nashua Yamaha were going to take a double victory with the Schlanger Rocket. And Matthew Skoltz had just opened up the championship for business as he took the double on the day. He was joined by Evil Knievel on the podium and Bren Harron salvaged Please some points and got third place. We head down to Port Elizabeth and Aldo Scrabanti on the 26th of July for the Diode Super GP Champions Trophy Round 5.